In Excel, there's something called the status bar, which actually helps you uh, get the total address and other informations right here. So it is located right here at the bottom and it says ready. So if I were to right click over here uh, with my mouse, you can see that you get a lot of options. So you get cell mode, you get cap lock, norm lock, and you can see that these are actually checked off. Let me just check all of it on. So I'm going to enable cap lock numlock over here, over type and everything else. And let's see what uh, the status bar actually does. So over here, I can see that my numlock is on. So if I were to uh, type in information from my num uh, number keys, then it'll actually be there. If I were to turn, uh, press my numlock key, you can see that this actually disappears over here. So if I want to enable my scroll lock, my scroll lock is right there, as you can see over here as well. And then you can also go for my caps lock key so if i were to press cap lock you can see that accidentally if i were to type capital then this will actually show how it is so besides that itself you can actually use address and count the number of cells so let's say these are the a's i want to count them all so just select and drag it and you can see that i get six as count if i select this individually by pressing control just like this and you can see that the number of cells is four you can also get the sum and average. So if you were to select these cells right here, you can see that this is the average 1.88.833. All right, so that's the average of these numbers right here. The count is six, numerical count is six again. And so minimum is five, that's the value. Maximum value is 546 and the sum is uh, 1033. I can also do a horizontal count as you can see. So now there's two count minimum maximum number and sum just like that you can select all of it and all of these are right here so it shows the average the count the numerical values minimum maximum and uh, the sum value just like that as you can see so these can be all access to these so if you were to turn this off then it won't be there so you have to make sure that all of these are actually activated so that is how you can use the status bar right here and besides that, you can also zoom in and out the data right here. And you can see the percentage right here. If you were to click here, it'll open up a pop-up box where you can select the magnification amount or input a custom amount right here. So let's say, for example, if I want 173% and press OK, it'll actually zoom in just like that. And over here, you can see that there are three view modes. So this is the normal mode. And if you were to go to print layout, you actually can access how it is printed. So if I want to add in a header or something, just like this, for me to print it, you can see that it is right there. And over here on this side, there's the page break previews right here. So if you want to arrange the printer settings and everything else, you can simply click and drag and then see how the pages will actually be printed right there and arrange the page breaks. And if you were to go back, you can see that the page break is highlighted right here. So that is how you uh, can make a use of max. Um, uh, you can make maximum use of the status bar. I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.